Mm. Hello there. Just having a tot of festive sherry because tis the season to be jolly. And as every YouTube channel that I follow is currently doing what to buy for Christmas videos, I thought I would join in as well. So what would I like in my sack from Santa this Christmas? Hmm. Well, on the assumption that Jessica Alba is not available, it'll probably have to be camcorder accessories. So here is my list of the top five inexpensive items that you can buy for the videographer in your family. Now, when the weather outside is frightful and you've been sent to film in it, what you really want to be wearing is a nice warm set of toasty gloves. Mmm. Unfortunately, of course, this kind of glove is entirely impractical because when you've got your hands in it, try to operate camcorder equipment with your fingers in there, it's just too big and clunky. However, I have found a possible solution, and that is these gloves, which are thinner, admittedly, not as warm and toasty as the ski gloves, but they are roughly waterproof, they will keep your hand dry, they will keep the biting chill off your hand, and the important thing about these is that you can pull the fingertips off individually, and therefore expose just the fingers you need to operate the controls. These two fingers, they always stay wrapped up, but you can pull the ends off these ones, operate your camcorder, and then once the interview started to roll and your fingertips are getting a bit chilly again, just pop the ends back on and they keep your hand nice and toasty, or at least certainly better than it would be if the hand were just exposed to the cold. Now, they're not expensive. They come from somewhere called easyoffgloves.com. They're available in various sizes, and obviously there is a right-hand glove as well, which once again, you can take the fingertips off that as well. The only slight difficulty I've found with these gloves is that when you've actually pulled back these fingers over here to operate, for example, the record button on the camera, if you try to stick your hand up the camcorder strap, this can get caught on it a little bit. So where you've set the strap for just the right tightness for your naked hand, um, it then becomes a bit too tight for wearing a glove, particularly if you've got the ends um, bent down like that. But apart from that, these are great gloves and I have used them in the winter and they do a pretty good job. So that is suggestion number one. Winter is upon us, but Christmas is not a time for darkness. It's a time for light. And this is a light that I think would fit well into any Christmas stocking. It's the Aperture ALH160 LED. It's large enough to be useful, but small enough to be very compact. Now, it's uh, LED, obviously, and it uses their latest CRI95 LEDs. In other words, it gives you a, a good quality of white light. It's a single color, it's not multicolor, but you can put a, a gel filter on the front here that they do supply to take it down from daylight balance to tungsten temperature. It's quite bright. I think, and uh, does quite a good job. You could use that as a key in a pinch if you're in a, a tricky situation. And I've used this quite a lot where I just need a little bit of extra light on a product that I'm filming, and I just hand hold it and kind of move it around until it's shining on the, the thing I'm filming the right way, and it does a very good job. Uh, it's obviously variable brightness with a little knob on the back, and there's a little battery test button you can press here to see how well your batteries are doing. Speaking of which, it's powered by <clears throat> six AA cells, or on the back here, it's got adapters for various types of Sony battery. I think it's at least three different types of Sony battery it will take, including the NPF series that are used in a lot of Sony camcorders. So it's lightweight, it's compact, it's currently retailing on Amazon for about £30, I think, which is certainly a bargain. And one other little feature of it, it's got these little indents in the sides and it comes with a little plastic bit that you can slot in there so that you can um, sort of connect lots of these lights together to make one gigantic light if you really want, or you can take them that way or that way, and sort of like Lego bricks of lights, if you like. But for £30, I think that is an excellent light. Indeed, for £40, I think that is an excellent light, and one that any videographer would be pleased to have in their kit bag. So that is item number two. Ho, ho, ho. Now, as you know, Santa's sleigh somehow manages to pack in all the presents for all the good boys and girls all around the world. It's a miracle, truly. Something else that I find miraculous 
is these, the modern memory storage card. That is an SDXC card, and it's got 64 gigabytes of storage. It's a UHS-1 Class 10. I mean, look at the thing. It's tiny. It's wafer thin. It's just a marvel of modern engineering. I remember about 20 years ago, I was doing a corporate TV program and had a little box. It was about the size of a packet of cigarettes, and it stored 20 megabytes of data, and I was in awe of that thing because it was astonishing. I think it was a PCMCIA Type 2, would it have been? Type 2 or 3, something like that. And now, look, you can get 64 gigs in one of these. And what's more, they're not costly. That card, it's a Transcend 64 gig. It's about £22 on Amazon. But, of course, with ever-increasing video data rates these days, 50 megabits XAVC is now common on even relatively low-end camcorders. And if you go into the pro market, oh my, you're talking about just mind-boggling amounts of data. Well, you can never have enough of these. So, for a 22 quid, I reckon you could certainly do no worse than investing in another SDXC card for the collection. Now, on Christmas, of course, we reflect on the things that are precious to us. And a camcorder is very precious indeed. And that's why I like to have some sort of filter on the front of the lens. This one is a UV filter, but it can even be just a plain glass filter. Why? Because that way, if someone uh, kicks up a stone and it whacks into the front of your camcorder, or you go filming on the beach and there's a load of sand gets kicked all over it, if it's gonna damage anything, it'll damage the cheap filter and not the lens on your camcorder. Because of course, if you have a camcorder with a fixed lens and the lens gets damaged, that is your camcorder ruined. Whereas if you have an easily unscrewable little filter on the front, well, you just take it off. If it's damaged, chuck it away, buy another one. And if it's cleanable up, well, you can just clean it up and stick it back on again. And of course, just in terms of normal camera lens cleaning, if you are cleaning your camera lens and you accidentally scratch it, that's it, camera lens doomed. If you are cleaning one of these, uh, then it's fine. If that gets scratched again, chuck it away by another one. These are not expensive. I mean, depending on which one you get, of course, and depending what size you want. This is a 58 millimeter lens. I've got it on the Canon XA20, I think, but they come in different sizes. And I think it costs something between 20 and 30 pounds. That's a UV filter, as I say, but you can get clear glass ones. Uh, so I'm not putting them on for effects. I'm not using them as grad filters or anything. It's just literally a lens protector. And I like to have one. It makes me just feel more comfortable when I'm out and about filming in the great outdoors. Now, at this festive time of year, it's often nice to dream of lovely landscapes covered in a thick blanket of snow, all looking very festive. And you might be tempted, when you go out filming, to do your white balance off the snow. But what when the snow is gone? Well, you might like to invest in one of these, a white balance card. Now, you might be wondering why you want to actually go out and buy a white balance card when you could just use any old bit of white paper that's lying around. Well, a lot of white paper is not actually white, it's often a bit bluish. And if you buy a proper photography white card, you know that what you are getting is a proper white, and therefore you won't be mucking around doing any little colour corrections in the edit afterwards, because your camera will be set up correctly. They are also available, if you're feeling a little naughty, in various shades of grey. The other thing you can sometimes do with a white card if you're filming solo is just hold it out at arm's length and use it as a bit of a reflector to highlight the uh, shadow side of someone's face when you're interviewing them. So there are a multitude of uses for your white card, and I find this one invaluable, and certainly any photographer would like to receive one of these in their Santa's sack this Christmas. So there you go, that's gift idea number five. Batteries. You can never have too many AA cells. Just buy them in bulk, stock up as if your life depended on it. What's that, Jessica? You'd love to come round? Ah, oh, that's great. I'll see you on Christmas Day. What? A chap can dream, can't he? Happy Christmas.